What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your iPhone screen on iOS 9, iOS 10. This would probably even work when iOS 11 comes out too, because I've been using this program for the last year or two, and it's worked consistently over many updates. So the program's called AirShow, and I'll put a link in the description below on where you can download it. It's kind of like a third-party application, so it's not on the App Store. It's free, it doesn't require any jailbreak, and you're just going to follow the link that I provided and it will take you to this website right here, it's called iEmulators. So you guys are going to visit that link on the iPhone that you plan on doing this with, and towards the bottom of the page you'll see the little AirShow application image. You're going to click that little image, and that's going to take you to an install screen, you click install at the bottom. You click install at the bottom one more time on the next page, and it takes you to a little instruction page where you have to hit install one more time. After you hit install those three times, you will see on your home screen it will start downloading as just a normal app like all your other apps. And once it completes downloading, you can't use it right away. If you try to click it, it will give you a message that says that this is an application from an untrusted developer. That basically just means that your iPhone has not, you haven't given your iPhone permission to open up this application yet. So this is pretty simple and easy to do. All you need to do is head over to your settings and once you're in settings you're going to go to general and at the bottom of the general section you're going to see a little subsection called device management and right next to it you might see like a little um, name that's in like Chinese or Asian. You click device management and you'll see that enterprise app that name that I just mentioned. You click that and you'll see AirShow down at the bottom you click on the developer name and you click trust and basically that just means you've told your iPhone that you trust this third party application so your iPhone will not stop you from using it so once you've done that you can exit the settings menu and you can head over to the AirShow app and begin using it it will ask you if you can um, allow notifications I usually just say no to this because there's not really any notifications it needs to give you and then it will ask you to agree to the terms which I always just hit agree to. Um, there's two options in here. There's broadcast and record. Record is actually recording the screen and saving the clips, so that's the one you guys are going to want. Broadcast is probably something like live streaming, but I've never actually tried it out. You can set the orientation, portrait, or landscape, and you can set the resolution. I usually just go with 720. I find that when I do 1080, sometimes it's kind of laggy, so 720 usually works best. And then you click next step and you have to allow it to access your microphone and I'll explain that in one second. But then it's going to tell you you need to activate AirPlay. So you need to open up this menu down here. You need to click AirPlay mirroring and you need to click the AirShow option. Once you do that it will be able to record your screen and it will start recording immediately. And what you guys are seeing right here is actually the footage that I'm recording right now. And the reason it needs access to your microphone is for whatever reason this application can't take the audio directly from your phone so it needs to do it kind of in a kind of funny way it basically uses your phone's microphone and it listens listens to the audio that's coming out of your speakers and it goes back into the microphone and records it so basically if you're recording your screen and you sneeze or you talk it will pick up that because it's recording everything your microphone hears so if you do want to record audio along with the video go to a very quiet place do not talk at all and turn your phone volume up all the way and maybe even use a speaker to make it even louder because it's only going to record what your microphone hears on your phone. So once you finish recording you hit the stop button and you click the little icon in the application in the top right hand corner and that will give you a list of your recordings. You can hit play, you can hit open in, or you can hit save to camera roll and it will ask you for access to your photos because it needs access to actually save it to your camera roll. Once you give it access, you'll be able to save it to your camera roll, and you now have that video clip recorded from your phone directly. So that's pretty much all there is to this. You can then use that video clip, and you can edit it however you want for the gameplay. I usually use this if I'm recording some type of gameplay on my phone because it's a lot better doing it this way than what I'm doing right here and pointing a camera at my phone screen. Um, now, there are some troubleshooting things I do have to mention. Like I said, this application has worked consistently for me for the last, like, probably two years but there are short periods of time where this will go down for maybe a couple of days or a week at most so just keep that in mind because it's not perfect and sometimes the developers of this application run into problems and it they usually get it fixed within a couple days so it's not really a huge issue and 
sometimes the video clips are kind of in a weird almost half corrupted format where I can play them but if I try to like edit them they like they're all buggy and glitchy if this happens to you the best way to fix this is to upload the video clips to YouTube mark them as unlisted instead of public so that only you can view them and then use some sort of video saving website like keepvid.com or clip converter CC and you can just save them back to your computer and they won't be corrupted anymore and one last little thing that sometimes happens to me is if you have the app on your phone for a long time say maybe a couple of weeks or a month I find that it stops working for whatever reason and you can't open it up and you can't use it if this ever happens to you all you need to do is delete it and re-download it and repeat the process in this video I usually just delete it after I'm done using it and then I re-download it when I need to use it again I don't know if it's because they like frequently update it and what you have is an outdated version but for whatever reason if you keep it on your phone for a long time it just stops working so if this ever happens to you just delete it and re-download it like I said here in the video and that's pretty much all there is to this if you guys have any questions leave them down below and if you guys found this video helpful in any way hit that like button down below and as always guys thank you for watching from XM360